How important is a perfectly cooked steak to you? Matters to me. So Yumly sent me their $99 smart thermometer. I have used smart thermometers before. I used meter for a while, uh, but I was willing to try this out. Um, it's, it's nice, it's compact, it's good looking. It's easy to use. And uh, yep, I did cook some steak with it. So let's start by talking about the case that the uh, Yumly smart thermometer comes in, uh, because this is really an important part of how this whole thing works. The, this is obviously the smart thermometer itself, right? You can see that right there. Uh, that's important, but the case is equally important. It's connected via Bluetooth to your phone, but it's also connected in that way to the thermometer. And so when you're cooking, you have to keep the case and the thermometer within five feet of each other. On the case, you can see the, the buttons here and the light that indicates that it's connected and working. And also the app will show you the same thing. This is kind of neat on the back here. So if I take, I have, a, I know there's a way to get this out easier, but this is really interesting because when I use the, uh, the meter uh, smart thermometer, uh, digital thermometer before, um, I sometimes stupidly would touch the thermometer uh, by hand and then get burnt. So this actually ships with, it includes a, an extractor. Basically, this is what you use to extract, extract, extract <laughs> the thermometer from the meat. So clips right on there. And then you're like, that's how you pull it out. So why a digital thermometer? It's, the, the concept is super simple. Uh, you, you're cooking a chicken, you're roasting a chicken, you're, uh, you're making steak, you're doing something on the barbecue. You can cook the meat and uh, you, know, you can look at it or you can time it. You know, if you're doing a steak, a few minutes on each side and, and you get a sense of whether or not it's done. Uh, or pork, you know, one that's even tougher to figure out. But you know, timing it, you might have an idea. But what you really want to know is the internal temperature. You know, if you have pork, it has to be over 160 or 170. If it's if it's uh, chicken, maybe it's 160. Uh, if it's steak, the temperature is lower, especially because you can range from rare all the way up to well done. But the only way to know that is with a thermometer. Now I've roasted chickens with pop-up thermometers that obviously they're not connected to anything. They just pop up that tells you the, the breast, the chicken breast meat is maybe a certain temperature, but I have no idea what that is. Uh, I've used this thermometer. I've actually used this quite a bit. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll pull the roast out of the oven or pull the steak out of the oven or even on the grill, like, and I'll just jam it in and then I'll watch and I'll watch and I'll watch and I'll watch as it slowly goes up, but uh, there's no instant reading. I don't leave it in the grill with it. I think it would be destroyed. So uh, having a digital thermometer, having something that is connected to my phone is, is going to be so much better. Not only because, uh, you know, it's connected, but I get instantaneous readings about the temperature in the meat and the ambient temperature around it. A couple other important things to note about the case. As I said, it's important to keep it close to uh, the, the thermometer, the Yumly uh, digital smart thermometer, uh, but also on the back here. Uh, so you see that there's a little case here. It takes standard batteries, which is nice. And the batteries are what are going to recharge, recharge uh, the Yumly uh, smart thermometer. Also on the back, you'll notice there's a couple of little metal spots there. Those are actually magnets. So you could put this like magnetized. It could be on the side of your grill, not the hot pot part, but side of the grill or the side of your oven, someplace nearby where it's easy to access and easy to grab this. And also, once again, keeping it close to the thermometer. Now, initially when I got this, I didn't have any meat to test it on. So I was curious. So I threw it into my little uh, electric oven just to see how it sort of would handle uh, the sort of the temperature and the readout. And, you know, it immediately read the temperature inside the oven. But because it wasn't inside meat, it said right away that it was uh, almost right away that it was overheating. So I had to, you know, carefully remove it from there. And then it cooled off pretty quickly. I didn't want to mess around when I cooked my steak with this. So I did a little filet mignon and I... Uh, put it right into the thickest part of it, sideways, popped it into the oven, and uh, then I had a near panic attack because I didn't have the case close enough. I had the case all the way on the other side of the kitchen, so I quickly ran over, grabbed it, and put it nearby. And then um, I could see on the app immediately, I could see the ambient temperature of the oven, um, and I realized I hadn't let the oven heat up enough because it told me the exact temperature was around, it's supposed to be 450 degrees or 415 degrees, I think, and I had it at more like uh, 
uh, 350 or 375. So I was watching that, but then I was also watching the internal temperature of the meat. Now, when you do this, you put into the app what you're cooking, what kind of meat, and what outcome you want, you know, especially with red meat, if you want it to be rare, or medium rare. And so the app will tell you based on the readings from the, the thermometer when it's time to pull it out. Now I know how to cook meat. So I, I couldn't entirely follow the directions here because Yumly told me, pull the meat out. It's, it's ready to come out and then you got to let it rest. But I saw that the temperature was a little bit too low. I knew that it was going to lean toward the rarer side and some members of my family don't appreciate that. So I let it go a little bit longer. Now, this is not a problem, the fact that it was pushing me to do that. In fact, I appreciated, again, being able to see the exact temperature of the meat. So I really had a sense of whether or not I was overcooking it or not. How did it come out? The filet mignon was perfect. It was delicious. I know, $99 seems like a lot to spend for a thermometer. But again, it's digital, it's connected, you know exactly what's going on within your oven, inside the meat, and you're going to use it for basically every meat dish that you create, whether it's in your oven, your traditional oven, or out on the grill. The only thing that I find a little bit annoying is that I always have to remember to have the case within five feet of it, but it's not a big deal. I think I'll just, you know, maybe during the, the summer months, I'll maybe just have it attached on the inside of the grill so I'll always know it's there uh, and until the battery runs out. Now, I don't know how long the battery lasts, but this, this little device, I will say, the Yumly Smart Thermometer, looks like it's built to last. Thanks for watching and remember to rate, review, and subscribe. I wonder if this could take human temperature if I just